Hello friends, let's see today's topic that is multiplication of matrices. What is a matrix? It's a set of rows and columns. Well, let's see how to multiply two matrices. First, let's take a matrix name A. So, let's define the matrix here with rows 1, 2, 3 in the row 1 and 4, 5, 6 in the second row. So, it's a 2 by 3 because it has 2 rows and 3 columns. So, let's define the second matrix name B which has rows 4, 5, 6, 7 in the first row and 8, 9, 10, 11 in the second row. So, total 2 rows and 4 columns. So, let's see if we can able to multiply A with B. Can we? No. Why? Because it's not following multiplication rule. The number of columns in the first matrix should be equal to number of rows in the second matrix which you are trying to multiply. So let's add one more row here. So that makes the matrix B as 3 by 4 matrix. Okay, what are we going to get if we multiply A with B? It's going to be a 2 by, the result is going to be a 2 by 4 matrix. Let's see. First, let's multiply first row in matrix A with first column in matrix B. So, 1, 2, 3 with 4, 8, 3. So, 1 multi multiplied with 4 plus 2 multiplied with 8 plus 3 multiply, multiplied with 3 2 multi, multiplying 2 with 8 plus 3 multiplied by multiplying it with 3 so the final values are 4 plus 16 plus 9 the total is going to be 29 here so the first row first column value is 29 then our task for next our task is to get the first row second column value how we are going to get that by multiplying first row with the second column that is 1 2 3 with 5 9 2 so first let's multiply 1 with 5 and then 2 with 9 finally 3 with 2 so what we are going to get here 5 here 18 here and then plus 6 here total is going to be 29 okay let so the sec first row second column value is 29 let's move on to the first row third column value we need to <coughs> multiply 1, 2, 3 with 6, 10, 1. So 1, we have to multiply it with 6. And then 2 with 10. And then finally 3 with 1. So 6 here, 20 and then 3 so again the sum is going to be 29 next we need to get first row fourth column just by multiplying 1 2 3 with 7 11 0 so 1 with 7 2 with 11 and 3 with 0 so again the sum is going to be 29 here so first row fourth column value is also 29 
so let's go on to the second row first column value where we need we need to multiply 4 5 6 with we need to multiply 4 5 6 with 4 8 3 so let's do that 4 5 6 here and 4 8 3 here so 4 multiplied by 4 5 multiplied by 8 and 6 multiplied by 3 so 16 here 40 here and then 18 here so 56 plus 18 74 so we got the sec second row first column value as 74 let's find the second row second column value so for that we need to multiply 4 5 6 with 5 9 2 in matrix B so 4 5 20 here and then 5 9 45 plus 6 2 12 so that sums up 65 plus 12 equals 77 so we got the second row second column value as 77 next we need to multiply 4 5 6 with 6 10 1 to get second row third column for that we have to multiply second row with third column so 4 6 24 plus 5 10 50 plus 6 1 6 so that sums up to 74 plus 6 which is equal to 80 so second row third column value is 80 next we need to find second row fourth column value that is the final value 4 5 6 with 7 1 0 so 4 mul multiplied with 7 to get 28 5 times 1 equal to 5 6 times 0 equals to 0 so that sums up to 33 so finally we found the fourth column value as second row fourth column value as 33 so that's ends up the topic and of course the final result is also is 2 by 4 thanks for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe thank you